In this whiteboard, we're going to talk a little bit about how desired con configuration management works. So uh, once again, we've got a primary site server with a database, and we've got our management point. All of our agents connect into the management point to get their configuration. Now, here's one of those features that doesn't require a role of its own. We can do all of this through the management point. So what we need to create uh, are two things, configuration items and configuration baselines. So the first thing that I do is I come into the system, which would be the primary site server, and this is going to be stored in the da database, and I create, if I can spell, config items. So we config item 1, config item 2, config item 3, and so on. So what these things are, um, are elements of configuration in the registry. So certain ways that we want, we, we will define specifically how we want something to be configured. It doesn't have to be the registry. It could be installed applications. It could be, you know, the fact that we want the existence of certain files on a computer, right? Whatever it is, various different elements of the configuration of a computer. Now, each item is a definition of what that thing is. If it is something in the registry, then we're defining what value in the registry and what the value should be set to. If it is a file on the file system, we're defining the path to that file and what the file name should be and so on. Now, all of these are going to be saved into what we call a baseline. So we can take a bunch of different items, package them together, and we create what's called a baseline. And I should probably label that here. Configuration baseline. So basically a baseline is simply a capturing of a bunch of different configuration items that we've created. We can reuse various different configuration items to put together um, different baselines. The point is it's essentially a package of configuration items. Now all of this stuff is just defined inside of the database. So you're going to find it up here in the database. Now. Uh, what do we do with that? We need to target that to a specific collection of machines. So we've learned about collections already, but I'm going to go onto the primary site server and I'm going to take that configuration item and I'm going to target it to a specific collection. Remember, collections are in the database, right? A collection is a definition of a set of machines, the grouping of machines. So I take the configuration item, I apply it to a collection of machines. In the same way that you might advertise a software package to a collection, we're going to take a baseline and we're going to assign it to a collection. Now, as we already know, the primary site server copies all new configuration information over to the management point. And the agent machines are designed to connect into their management point to poll from time to time to see their information. Okay, so they go on their regular polling interval and they now see that there is a new configuration baseline configured for them. They bring down the baseline, they open up all of these various different items, they read those items and they compare their own system to those items and look for matches. The configuration items are not like group policy. Group policy actually changes the configuration of a target machine. It controls the configuration. All this mechanism is doing is evaluating a system. It's evaluating to see if it is compliant with our baseline. So in other words, do these configuration items match? If, one, if config item number one is a registry value, I'm going to check my system to see if that registry value exists as it should. If it does, great. If it does not, take note of it. Right? And it'll go through each of the configuration items in the baseline and compare itself. Then it will report. So it'll send up a new bit of information up to the management point that is essentially its uh, results, its data. It has evaluated against the rules and is uploading its data. We now have information in the database about each computer's compliance to the baseline, which means that I can run reports and I can find out which machines in my environment are compliant to our desired configuration and which ones are not. 
So that's a bit about how it works. Now, obviously, as we go through this chapter, we'll look at how to do it and how to get it uh, set up and configured. Um, but that is configuration items and configuration baselines working together to provide what is called the desired configuration.